In this video, we're going to learn how to print a Christmas tree using C++. Our Christmas trees are going to look like this. They're going to have three stars as the base of the Christmas tree, and those stars are going to be output in the middle of the tree. The user is going to specify a height for the tree, and that's going to determine the number of lines from the top to the bottom of the tree. The top of our tree will always have one star, the very bottom of our tree will always have twice the height minus one number of stars. Let's implement this now. The first thing we'll do is prompt the user to enter in the tree height. So we'll declare a int variable called height to store that height. Then we'll output to the user height colon to prompt them to enter in the tree height. Next, we'll store the height that the user enters into the height variable so I'll have here, C in, and then height. We'll output a new line to separate this user input from the actual outputting of the Christmas tree itself. Now to output each row from top to bottom in our Christmas tree, we'll make an outer loop. And we want to have the same number of lines or rows as the height that the user specified. So we'll make a loop with a counter variable i that's going to go from one up until and including the tree height. And we'll increment i by one with each loop iteration. Now we're going to use i to modify the number of spaces and stars output in each row of our tree. So with each loop iteration, we want to increase the number of stars output on each row. So initially, we only want to output one star for the very top of the tree. But by the bottom of the tree, we want to output twice the height minus one number of stars. Now in a similar way, we want to output a certain number of spaces before outputting the stars on each row. So that way our tree is centered. So initially we want to output this single star here at the exact middle of the tree. Then we want to taper off the number of spaces we output with each row. So that way the tree can expand outwards like this. So what we'll do is calculate a space count and a star count. Then we'll use two inner loops to output that number of spaces and that number of stars. So up here in our loop, we'll first calculate the star count and we'll store it into a variable called star count. So we'll have here int star count is equal to i times two minus one. And so for the first loop iteration, i is going to be set to one. One times two gives us two. Minus one gives us one. So we're going to output one star with the first loop iteration for the first top row of our Christmas tree. Then in the next loop iteration, i will have been incremented by one. i will now be two. 2 times 2 gives us 4, minus 1 gives us 3, and then in the next row of the tree, we'll output 3 stars. This will continue until i is eventually equal to height. At that point, we'll have height times 2 minus 1 number of stars, and that's exactly the number of stars we want to output for the bottom of our tree. So the number of stars that we output is going to increase with each iteration of this loop and for each row of our tree. We want the number of spaces we output before the stars to start at the middle of the tree, but then decrease with each loop iteration and each row of the tree. So off here, int space count is equal to height minus i plus one. So what's happening here is initially i is going to be one. And so we're going to output height number of spaces because height minus one plus one is just height. But then with each loop iteration, i is going to increase. And as we do that, we're going to decrease by one the number of spaces we output with each iteration of the loop for each row of our tree. We can now create the inner loops that are going to output these number of stars and spaces. So first we'll have here four int j is equal to zero, j is less than space count, 
and then J++. So this loop is going to iterate space count number of times. And with each loop iteration, we're going to output a space to output space count number of spaces. We'll make another inner loop to output the number of stars as given by star count. So I'll have here four, int j is equal to zero, j is less than star count, and then j plus plus. And in this loop body here, we're going to output a star. So this loop is going to output star count number of stars. Now, after we've output these stars, we'll output an end line. So that way the next row of output occurs on the next row in the terminal. So that should do it for outputting the top to the bottom of our tree. The next thing to do is output the base of the tree. Again, we'll have an outer loop that's going to execute three times to output each row in our base. So we'll have here four int i is equal to zero i is less than 3, i++. Plus plus. So this outer loop here is going to execute three times. And what we're going to do in the loop body is output enough spaces to reach the middle of the tree. Then we'll output a star for the base. So first we'll have a loop that's going to output height number of spaces to reach the middle of the tree. So I'll have a counter variable j start off at 0. We'll have it go up until height and we'll increment j by one with each loop iteration. This loop will output height number of times, and each time we're going to output a space. So now, after outputting height number of spaces, we can then output a star for the base, followed by an end line, so that the next row of the base occurs on the next line. We can now save our program, compile it, and test it out. And we can put in different height values and get trees of different heights. So for example, we could try a height of seven and we get a tree that looks like this. We could try it again. And this time I'm going to enter in 10 for the height. And now we get this larger tree here. Next, let's try a smaller tree height. I'll try five. And now we get a tree that looks like this. And notice that the tree is constructed according to the rules in our code. So the height of the tree is five. And this star here in the base is one, two, three, four, five spaces in. Same thing with this star here. It's height number of spaces in. Our tree has height number of rows with one star at the top. And the base has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stars which is height times two minus one, because five times two minus one is nine. So our code is constructing this tree according to a particular pattern. So this is how we can output a Christmas tree in C++. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers.